Hey everybody, Danny Maud here. Thanks for joining us. In this video, I wanna help you add more distance to every club in your bag, whilst at the same time still maintaining control of your ball striking and the direction. Because you probably find sometimes when you do try and add a few extra yards, you start to kind of hit it everywhere or your ball striking suffers. One of the reasons for that is a major misunderstanding about how to swing the club through the ball. I wanna share with you what that misunderstanding is because you know what, it's really, really important. Now before I do that, if you're new to the channel, from your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. 60% of you are watching this video aren't subscribed to the channel, it'd be great if you could join the community. And also look, I always put a free downloadable practice guide in the description box below so you never have to remember a thing. So let me share with you what that misunderstanding is and then give you a three-step process on how you can begin striking all your clubs much better, but more importantly, hitting them a lot further with control. So come and join me now if you can. So here's the thing. One of the big misunderstandings that I'm seeing with golfers is, is the misunderstanding of exactly how the wrists are supposed to be working through the swing. This is what I'm seeing a lot. I'm gonna use a prop for this. Grab a, this is just an old club box, okay? Here, it's just a great visual, right? So here's what I'm seeing. The wrists are supposed to do this. They're supposed to, when you swing, you're supposed to swing the club head. If you want club head speed, you need to get the club head swinging, right? So the key is to when the club swings, we want the wrists working and cocking so that when you get to about here, the butt end of the golf club is pointing between ball line and your foot line and the club's up there somewhere, yeah? Then what we want to do with that box, we want to literally let the gravity of the club just fall down to the ground at some serious speed where the ball is, then flow through, right? So in order to do that, we need the wrist to work correctly. What I'm seeing, unfortunately, is too much of this. I'm seeing a drag back. I'm seeing the club being lifted into position. I'm seeing, naturally, you're trying to probably control the club now. Then I'm seeing that you're trying to maybe get it perfect to impact so it becomes more controlled. But we need to get the club look releasing down to the ball, <laughs> releasing down to the golf ball at the moment of impact at some serious speed. But how do you do that and then maintain control? Here's how. First thing you've got to learn how the wrists work and then we'll start to work on how you control all that motion with a great body motion. So the first thing I want to do is grab your club Take the club and literally start to allow it to swing backwards and forwards. Allow the wrist to hinge so the club comes up, falls down where the ball is and then continues to release through. At no stage do you guide it in any shape or form. You're always allowing it fall up and down. Feel the momentum of that golf club. Take it in your lead hand so you can educate both hands here. Let the wrist kind of hinge up, let it fall down and then release through. Once you've done those two feelings, join the two hands together here, backwards and forwards, and just get a sense of how those wrists are working. Immediately, my bet is you're gonna feel something different. You might even feel, God, that, Danny, that feels a little bit wristy. Yes, it is, and we're gonna control that now with the motion of the body. To do that, what you're gonna need is some heavy weight, an old bag, or, you know, this weighs about five kilos. I created a detailed video on this, by the way, up in this top right hand corner, but grab a heavy weight. And the aim is, is we don't want to have a wristy and armsy swing, okay? We want the wrist working, but we don't want the arms pulling back. We don't want the arms going out everywhere. You won't be able to control those wrists there. What we need to have happen is this. We need the torso and the body to be helping those wrists. So the wrists are bending, but the arms are being controlled by the body motion. Look at how naturally I'm forming a triangle look between my shoulders and my arms because I'm swinging this heavy weight. The heavy uh, weight is stopping my arms just doing this. Make sense? So once you've got the idea of this swing, okay, the body moving backwards and forwards, spend some time doing that, get a rhythm, you then start to apply that sensation to the wrists. So you want mobile wrists, but you want to control the arms, not by making them stiff, but by guiding them, look, with body rotation. Look at this. So literally the wrists are going up, body's facing you, and then look, coming down, let it fall to the ground, and then swing through. So let's hit a few shots showing you how to work on this before we show you how to add some serious power. So we start off, and I, I like to do this when I'm warming up on these ones. I literally do a few swings with my left hand, catch it here, check, release down, catch it, love, look where here, I've still got that lovely triangle formed, release down. Once you get a few of those feelings, I literally just walk to the golf ball, don't waste too much time, small, 
small little shots, no big shots at this stage, just generating some feel and some speed. And all I'm doing really is getting a sensation of exactly how this release works. Do another one like that, bang, release back, catch it, check. Same again, no dragging, no hitting, no guiding, still always releasing those clubs. Again, nothing major, right. Once you've got a sensation, I'd spend some time there, by the way, before we go into the, we get some really serious power in, feeling how all this works, getting the sensation of this wrist working. Then we want to look at generating how we add more power to this. Simple prop is a great visual, this, by the way. Jacket, you can all do this. Jacket, put it over those shoulders. Hold your shoulders like this, and this is basically. This is your free-flowing arms and wrists, right? Now, how are those arms gonna work? Well, you're gonna have to use your body. Look at this. I'm getting those arms swinging. How? Because I'm transferring my pressure from my right to my left. I'm using the torso, that mo the movement here, look, to swing those arms. Take this visual. One, two. We've gotta learn, look, to swing the arms freely, allowing those wrists to work one and two. Big difference if you are start to try and move your body like this, that's not going to work. You've got to learn to kind of shift the body in such a way that's going to get those arms, look, slinging off the body. Imagine this now, taking that same principle. Look at this. I'm not going like this. That's too wooden. I'm allowing the wrist to go. And my body, look, is going right left and I'm slinging. Can you picture the jacket on my shoulders now being slung backwards and forwards? The arms out wooden on my jacket. They're not doing this. They're not steering. They're being, look, slung off my body. I'm not going with it. I am slinging them. Now, what makes this, I think, even more kind of, um, kind of dramatic is let me bring in a major, even a bigger prop, our editor, <laughs> video and editor, Leo. Hello. Welcome to the channel. So, Lee, if you want to do a just stand there for a second. Right. So, good feeling, good image for you. If you stand a bit further over there. Yep. I'm going to grab Leo's wrist for a second, okay? So, power comes from using your body now to sling those wrists, and at the same time, your body is going to control the motion. If it was just hands and arms, you'd hit it everywhere. So, you need your body to, one, generate the power, but also help you control what you're doing. So this is a great feeling and a great image. Grab, uh, grab Leo by the list. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get some momentum first of all with Leo. Watch. I'm going to get some momentum and then I'm going to throw him this way. Now as I'm doing this, can you see how I'm leading with my body to throw Leo forward? This is absolutely crucial, right? Because, thanks Leo. That's just <laughs> Because it's a great feeling is you can see when I had the jacket on there, I'm using my body to look throw the club. What I'm not doing, look, is throwing the club here. I'm using my body to throw it. So taking those images, what I want you to do now is this. Start off obviously very, very small and get the sensation of your body moving into a position, turning into a position where you can now look, use it to throw the club down to the ground, look. And see how my body is being used, it's throwing the club down to the ground. Once you've got the feeling of the small swings, you can just simply gradually build it up. One and two. I use, use that phrase quite a lot. One and two. Or oh, 101. 101. That 101 is basically getting me to 100. And I mean, I've got Leah and I'm throwing Leah forward. Let's have a look at this in action. So. Let the wrist naturally flow, 101. Okay, a little bit more clubhead speed on this one. There we go, 90 mile an hour clubhead speed. Let's increase it a little bit more on this one, a bit more speed. Should be over 90 on that one. There we go, 91. So gradually, and all I'm doing is, all I'm doing is controlling that motion by throwing, almost imagine throwing Leo, but I can't get that speed and accuracy if those get stiff. All right, so three little steps. Watch the misunderstanding. Do not hold it and steer it. Let the wrists work. Feel how they work with both hands. 
Feel how to control them by using the weight and then use the image of the jacket on me throwing Leah. Literally imagine your body's going to be in a certain place here to look. Move and throw. Get those sensations. It's just images, it's just feelings that you've got to start to work on. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with your friends. And look, 60% of you are watching are subscribed to the channel. So come and join the community by pressing that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. But until next week, have a great golfing week.